Hello, my name is Tom Perloff, and this is my week three journal response, talking about characteristics of children with autism that I happen to have observed. Now, the characteristics that I happen to have been observed were not things that I have seen during this past summer because of being on vacation, but a lot of things that I had seen in the past two or three school years. First thing that I was reminded of was a real inappropriate attachment to objects. I had a student three years ago in a self-contained special day class all day, and her purse was glued on her. It didn't matter who it was who asked her to remove it, put it next to her, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It was not going to happen unless there was yelling, screaming, weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Second behavior characteristic that I was reminded of is having students with flapping or repetitive hand motions or feet motions. One of the things that was very interesting that I was drawn back to is that I had a student who prior to having me had spent a lot of time with involuntary hand movements and various people had worked with him over time and the hand movements had actually transferred themselves over to gum chewing, which was a lot less of a behavior that would be bothersome to peers or call as much attention to themselves. A third behavior characteristic that I see that I'm hearkening back to is an extreme interest in very, very, very narrow topics. I have had two or three students that have had the most extreme interest and the most extremely detailed knowledge about the tiniest objects or the tiniest topics of interest. For example, I had a student a couple of years ago who knew everything that there was to know about left-handed batters for the Philadelphia A's during a particular season and could tell you everything that there was possibly to know about it. They also knew everything that there was to know about Civil War generals that were born in the state of Maine. And I've seen that same type of thing with multiple students. A fourth thing that I have seen in the past that we had learned about in this class is a real insistence on needing to keep the same routine. Now, it's something that I'm going to mention in my writing assignment for this week, but three years ago, I was working as a special day class teacher in a small class with the same students all day, except for PE and elective, and there needed to be an annual evacuation drill. Without going into all of the details about the evacuation drill, we had prepped for it a long time in advance. Students knew about it. Didn't seem like it was going to be a big deal. The drill went extremely well. However, and this is an extremely big however, it caused our brunch time, our break time, to be 10 minutes later than it normally was. Those 10 minutes caused a complete meltdown with yelling, screaming, crying, throwing ourselves on the floor. I mean, both my aide and myself and the other special day class teacher saying, you see, we're still having the same 10 minutes of break, but it's not, but it's not at the time that we usually have it. I want my break now. So learning about the necessity for the same routine really brought that back into my memory banks. There's a number of other things that I have also hearkened back to. One of, the, I mean, one of them just briefly is about a real trouble with having social interactions. And I distinctly remember four or five children that have worked with at great detail of being able to navigate a conversation with their peers about what topics are appropriate, what topics are not appropriate, and just 
needing to do that all the time. And the thing that also brought back in my memory is that when there were train, possible train wrecks of conversation with general education students, it was much less problematic than when there were train wrecks of conversations that were occurring with other students in special day class. And there was just all sorts of trouble all over the place and needing to almost sit down and be a referee. And the final characteristic of things that I have seen with things that we have learned about is a real sensitivity to noise. Now I happened to be starting a brand new job in August and was able to on Monday be go to the new school site, be able to get a tour around by a program specialist. There was ESY going on. And one of the things that I picked up and saw it right away is that five of the kids all were walking around with headphones on to protect them from all of the extraneous noises. Last thing that I want to say is that the stuff that I have, you know, the stuff that we've learned about these first couple of weeks, really wish that I had known more about you know, the past three or four years because of being able to see a lot of those things just having totally played themselves out then and now having things make sense.